episode of Beauty Tips, I'm here at the HQ of Rachel K Cosmetics, and I'm here with my friend Rachel Kum, uh, beauty queen. Uh, she won Miss Singapore Universe 2009, but did you know she's also a huge fan of gaming? World of Warcraft, I heard you've got like a huge score that could put any guy to shame and fill them with envy. Well, it's not exactly a huge score, but uh, I have a level 85 Blood Elf Warlock character. So currently now that's the highest level you can get, but next month in September there'll be a new pack called the Mist of Pandaria where you can actually increase your uh, level to 90. I don't understand <laughs> that. I don't understand that, but be jealous. Apparently that will make any guy weep, okay, in shame. So we're here to talk about beauty stuff, right? Not just the beauty queen. I've always loved Rachel because she's always a breath of fresh air. Um, you joined Miss Singapore University mm -hmm. in 2009. Why did you do that? Because it's your first and your last pageant. Um, yeah, it was the, I just wanted an experience. Um, I love meeting new people from everywhere in the world, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, you know, I got a chance to make a lot of friends from everywhere. Um, and also I love to travel, so my, my beauty pageant finals was held in Bahamas. And it was great to, you know, get a free trip to the Bahamas and meet all these wonderful girls. Very confident because at that point in time, she didn't know whether she would win or not. But she's like, free trip, it's happening, it's happening. Yeah. When you will your mind to it, it will happen. Okay, so um, during your reign, you did a lot of things as mm -hmm. per usual, the charity work and all that. What happened after? Um, well, after I won Miss Singapore Universe, I went on to do charity work at Sri Lanka for a cause, a thalassemia cause. Mm -hmm. um, and then during my reign as well, I was just busy formulating my products for my skincare. Like a chemist so, in her lab. Yeah, She's I've, like, what do I do? Yeah, I've actually started, well, uh, about half a year, even before I, I joined the Miss Singapore Universe. Okay, so you knew that you were going to have your own skincare brand. Yes. So you ask a little girl, what do you want to be when you grow up? A lot of people say, I like to be a supermodel, I want to be a teacher. This girl knows she wants her face on beauty products. So you knew? Yeah, I knew. Okay, so were you using like your products already during the Miss uh, yes, Universe? Yes, during the Miss Universe pageant in Bahamas, I was already testing myself. She does yeah. human testing <laughs> on her own face. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. nice. How did, did it break out? You no, were brave. actually, yeah, I was brave. I just wanted to, you know, make sure that my products, I can use my products anywhere I go. Um, there was a lot of long, uh, there was a lot of long filming and photo shoots in the Bahamas. So I just want to make sure that my products, that I can use my products wherever I go. At the testing stage, yes. at your most important moment at the finals of Miss Universe, you decided to do human testing. Yeah. Good on you. <laughs> okay, so um, Rachel K Cosmetics, right? Mm -hmm. It's been around for, what, barely two years? How long has it been around? Uh, it's been around, well, since uh, we started the company. It's been around since April 2011. Okay. Yeah. And you've already won several awards already. Yes. What award is that? Uh, we won two awards from Watson's okay. last year and this year for uh, Best Newcomer and Best CC Cream Innovation, all-time favourite. We also won um, Best Press, uh, Press Powder from uh, Cleo Magazine and mm -hmm. also um, Best Innovative BB Cream from Cozy Cod. Wow, that's a lot of awards for a new brand. It's either your products work really well or you have a lot of friends in the industry, but you know what, I tried the products myself. I liked it, okay? So makeup was your launch last year. Mm -hmm. This time around, you've got a whole range of um, skincare yes, as well. Yes, we just launched. Okay, I need to know, what on earth is CC Cream? CC Cream stands for Color Control Cream. Okay. So just to sum it up, it's basically a better version of BB Cream. So you have better results better active ingredients and better functions. Okay. So like... Um, Anyone can use it? Yes, it's, it's suitable for all, all skin types, especially and it's great for weather like Singapore where it's humid. Okay. So what CC Cream uh, does is that it's non-oily, so it actually dries up uh, into a matte finish, a powdery finish. It still gives you a very good moisture in your skin. But it's not like other BB creams where you know the end result is very oily and greasy and the CC cream gives you a very nice natural finish. So besides the CC cream, what are your other star products? Because I'm a beauty product junkie. I will try anything that works. Mm -hmm. So far it has no side effects, I hope. Okay, so what are your other star products? Uh, I just launched my skincare line. Okay. It's called Rachel Casey The Difference of Skincare. Course. And uh, my two star products I would say is the day cream over here. Okay and also the night cream. 
So the day cream is called The Expel. Okay. And the night cream is called Midnight Miracle. I like this. It gives me a sense of empowerment already. Youth Spell. Mm -hmm. It's like magic. Youth Elixir. So I am supposed to. That's why I read it anyway. I'm just, am I being too hopeful here? No. This, it, this gives me like a magical youth gene, right? Yes. It's kind of like, it's very easy to apply. Okay. So. So, I would say if you're feeling lazy and you just want to use something that gives you good coverage, good hydration, mm. um, I would say the youth spell will do it for you. It smells nice. So My this hands feel youthful already. Yeah, this uh, cream is really good for combination skin. Okay. Uh, combination skin is usually like you some parts like your t-zone area is very oily and then your cheek area and your chin area is very dry. Okay. So what this does is that. It provides added moisture to your dry areas and then for your T-zone area which is oily, it will actually reduce the sebum control. So it's a two-in-one, it's like a double action thing. Okay, so yes. how much is this? Uh, this one is selling at 29 $29. So if I'm a broke student and I need a fix on my face, this one bottle is all I need. Yes, seriously. that's right. <laughs> Thank you, you spell. So does it work on a 33 year old Oh, for sure, for sure. Wow, you don't look 33 at all. Okay, look at this. 33-year-old <laughs> hand versus you spelled 33-year-old hand. There's a huge difference already. Can you see? Please tell me there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference? Yeah. Oh my god, camera says there's a difference. <laughs> okay, great, that's awesome. Sure. And your other and one? And the other one, night cream. This is really, really good if you have uh, a lot of shine on your skin, so it's great for, I, I would say, especially in this humid weather where it makes your face very greasy. Mm -hmm. So use this before you sleep. Um, it will help to reduce the shine in the morning and it also helps to reduce the redness. So if you have any like inflammation or bumps mm -hmm. during the day, you put this on your skin before you sleep and then the next morning you can actually really see a difference. So this is actually a fast track way mm -hmm. to saving your face, it, 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 especially the next day, right? You have a photo shoot, or you have that date with that guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I used to do? I used to prick it with a safety pin, uh, my pimples. Oh no, I And I used to that. squeeze it. Uh, then I used to put like salt in it. Didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? A girl's gotta try. Okay, so this is the yes, solution. And how right. much is this? This is also $29. I like it. It's affordable, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, go, go check it out. So what are the other products that you have? Just a quick run through. Okay, so I have the um, serum. This serum is really good. Uh, what it does is that if you feel you have really, really dry skin, it really helps to give you the added hydration mm -hmm. and the nutrients will penetrate deep into your skin. So it has like vitamin C, D, E and F, so all the necessary vitamins that you need for your skin. You better penetrate deep, man, because my skin is damn thick. Uh. <laughs> it's like, if this doesn't penetrate, I'm telling you. Okay. And, oh, and this is a what really is good eye cream. What is this? Look at that. This looks like a weapon. This looks like a pro. <laughs> yeah. Well, this massage applicator is good to use in your eye. What okay. it does is that it helps to uh, increase blood circulation, so okay. it reduces uh, eye puffiness and dark under eye circles. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to believe her. This is a beauty queen who uses her own products. She endorses human testing. I know a lot of um, human rights people um, speak up against it, but I am for it. If she's willing to be the guinea pig, I will <laughs> gladly follow suit. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Keep doing it, man. Like, thank thank you. you so much for talking to me, thank Rachel. Thank you so much, Ross. Thank you. Let me see you again. <laughs> if you come out of the gaming world, yeah. if you come out of your room and stop gaming so much, maybe we can <laughs> well, meet up for a cup of coffee. Yeah, for sure. All right, that's all we have for you in this episode of Beauty Tips. If you want to check out Rachel's cosmetics, you can go to Watson's. If you've got deep pockets, you can buy more. If not, just one cream is fine. The youth spell. The youth spell. This is Ross. Bye. <laughs>